Hello, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Paradigm Shift and Educational Comedy. Um, as far as I know, there's going to be no one joining me on this one. Um, let's see here. This is probably going to be rather short. I just needed to share this. Um, Totally going to be play on words galore, you know, toilet humor, politically incorrect. This is a little something from shittyadvice.com, and the double T is replaced with a double seven, their attempt at being politically correct, I guess. The title here is called Funny Names That Were Not Meant To Be Funny. Hence my funny little title, um, you know, shitty advice about funny names. Bada -bada -bada. Anyway, um, so yeah, this is definitely, you know, below the belt kind of stuff. It's, you know, some people might view it as inappropriate or immature. Oh my God, what are you, like three years old or something? That's ah, funny. If you don't have an expanded sense of humor, just like hit stop, close out the window, whatever. This is going to be more comical than educational. Although, because these are real pictures, you know, there is some education involved here. Just not very much. <laughs> this is mostly uh, comedy time here. Now, I will be taking the pictures that you see here and downloading them and uploading them onto TSU and onto Facebook. So, um, obviously, you know, you can see here the, uh, the URL, the address of the original post if you want to go there. Shittyadvice.com forward slash funny dash names dash meant dash funny. And, of course, um, you know, yeah, I'll, I'll do my best to try to remember to put that in the description of the uh, pictures to credit where they're from. But... If I forget to do that, at the very least, we've got this video to credit it. So, that's all well and good. Yes, Dave, you rambled too much. Shut up. Get with the fucking pictures already. Damn. Okay, fine. <clears throat> funny names that were not meant to be funny. Re-elect Judy Graham Swallows. 24 years experience, register of deeds. Um, let me see if I can I'll like open that into like an expanded view. Yeah, I zoom in a little bit on that, make it a bit bigger there for you. Reelect Judy Graham Swallows, 24 years experience, register of deeds. Yes, dirty deeds. Done with sheep. Dirty deeds. Done with sheep. That's a real song, by the way. ACDC parody. You can, like, YouTube search that. You'll find it. Just type in Dirty Deeds Done with Sheep. Okay. Definitely wanting to open this up in a new window and zoom in here a bit. Charlie Willard Horsedick. Oh, boy. To Dacia Tanaskit and Brian Dick of Spookane. He weighed 7 pounds, 11 ounces, and was 20 and a half inches long. That's one mighty big horse dick there, boy. <laughs> Alrighty. That's ah, fucking hilarious. Moving on. Oh, and by the way, um, just to make this even more politically incorrect, my mom shared this post on my Facebook. God bless her. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you can thank my mom for this. Okay. Age 26. He's in gift sales. His status is never been married. And his name is Robert Faggot. All righty. Big round of applause for Mr. Faggot. Awesome. Okay. Yes, I know. That's... You know, all the Obama supporters are going to be like, 
oh my god, you use humor that, like, is, like, you know, being, like, teasing about, like, sexuality and stuff, so you must be a homophobe, and, and, and you must, like, you know, hate black people and be anti-Semitic because you don't always agree with Obama and blah, 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 and okay, you know, people like that can, you know, like, go sodomize themselves with a retractable baton or something because it's like, all right, Disagreeing with somebody doesn't make you a terrorist or a racist or anti-Semitic or whatever. And, you know, even faggots can enjoy faggot humor, boy. So, you know, go talk to an open-minded gay person who's playful, who is, doesn't get all butthurt, no pun intended, about gay jokes. And, like, they'll be sitting there agreeing with me, like, yeah, dude, lighten up. <laughs> You know, so, yeah, if you thought that was inappropriate, oh, well, then you probably shouldn't be watching Paradigm Shift and Educational Comedy because we're all like George Carlin, Bill Hicks, you know, style of humor, educational comedy, politically incorrect. Okay, see you later, Mr. Faggot. It was nice viewing you, sailor. Okay. This should be an interesting one. My booby. Oh, yeah. Grab my booby. Grab my booby. Oh, boy. You know, when I was overweight, like extremely overweight, I used to have man boobs. So you used to be able to grab my booby, but not anymore these days. All right. I can't think of any other tangents to like go on with that one. Sorry. I mean, it's 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 my booby. Please feel my booby. I mean, I think that would be like way more funny if I was female, but I'm not. So, oh well. Moving on. Mister Love. Ooh. Was that one song from the '90s? Um. Call him Mr. Vain, 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 Vain. I know what I want and I want it now. I want you. I'm Mr. Vain, Vain, Vain. That one? Yeah. Well, this is Mr. Love. And Mr. Love is a sex offender. And he was charged with failing to report. Okay. I'm guessing he was like, you know, on some sort of parole or something and he failed to report to his parole officer, but still, Mr. Love, sex offender, Mr. Love. Ooh, maybe he's got a horse dick. <laughs> All right, yeah. 20 inches of pure Mr. Love. Okay. Oh, let's, this looks like an ID of some sort. Um, yeah. And it, I don't there's like a slash in there, so I don't know if it's like a designation or it's supposed to be a hyphen and that's one big long last name or if it's a first name or what. But yeah, I see the word vagina in there. Totally seeing that. See right there. Totally seeing vagina in there. And, you know, because I'm totally seeing vagina in there. I have to do what I'm about to do next. I'm sorry, but I must. Um, YouTube.com. Quick little, like, music video song thing that uh, me and my friend Mike Colbert made a while back. Let's see. Express It Network Music Video. Oh no. Oh yes, vagina. Oh come on. Uh, experience e net work music. I'm gonna try typing in was it two thousand oh no. Um shit, come on. Maybe try on There we go. Music video, Archfiend. That's Mike. Vagina. Here we go. It's hilarious shit. It's only two minutes. 
Ah, crap. Advertisement. Let's bring the uh, volume down for that. Pause, bring the volume back up, and here we go. <laughs> Parody the song Fire by Scooter. <laughs> Now there's going to be some of you saying, oh my god, I want to see that again. There's going to be some of you saying, oh my god, no, 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 no more. The pain, the torture. Well, for those of you saying the pain, the torture, fast forward about two minutes because for those who want to hear it again, here it is again. say I was so crazy back then, but why refer to it in the past tense? I am still that crazy now. 
and it's vagina brought to you by johnson and johnson's big hardwood all right moving on speaking of vagina i would like to introduce you to my clitoris yes my clitoris not to be confused with vagina i can't think of anything else to say to make fun of that other than next time you want to call a bar and ask the the bartender to page someone from the crowd you can ask him to you know say hey you know there's someone in your crowd there i need to call him the phone um uh, his last name is literus and um his first name is mike so if you could call him out um i remember once uh I was about 12 or 13. I called a bar and this lady bartender answers and I said the same thing, but it wasn't Mike Litteris. The last name was Hunt, H-U-N-T, Mike Hunt. And, you know, I she's like, okay, hold on. I hear her screaming through the bar, Mike Hunt, Mike Hunt, has anybody seen Mike Hunt, Mike Hunt? And then she finally realizes what she's doing and she laughs. She's like, oh my God. She comes back to the phone laughing. Um, she's like, oh, that was funny. That was good. Okay, what, what what are you really wanting? I'm like, what do you mean? What am I wanting? I'm 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 twelve. What do I want from anybody at a bar? This is a, this is a prank call. Yeah. So, um, and now of course, uh, Trent is messaging me on Skype. Sorry, Trent. I need to finish this first before I respond to you. If you're paying attention, you'll notice I'm on live and if you're not paying attention oh well <clears throat> anyway i'll get back to trent when i'm done with this because after i'm done going through these pictures then i'll close out the hangout because it's not really a hangout is it even though technically it's a google hangout there's nobody else here but me okay well speaking of of vaginas and, and clitoris here's a rusty cunt yep Rusty cunts, gotta love rusty cunts. Um, I, I would recommend you definitely clean out rusty cunts before you deal with them, so you know you're not getting those particles all over you. Because you know, or, or at least make sure you have you have a tetanus shot. No, oh, but then again, these days with all the agenda twenty one poisons they put in the vaccinations, you're probably better off risking the tetanus. <laughs> <laughs> instead of getting the shot because the shot's going to have like aluminum and mercury and formaldehyde and and some grandmother's old freaking you know douche pad sticks and whatever i don't know i'm just being silly um but yeah rusty cons be careful when dealing with that because you know your health it is a safety matter you have to remain health conscious i'd actually avoid dealing with rusty cunts if i was you why is rust in there in the first place that is just nasty okay moving on well this is awesome um oliver loser all righty somebody definitely needs to legally change their name and what is this a poster for? FWG. Can't really read the text under it. It's too small. But yeah. Oh, the domain name is .de. So apparently this is in Germany. So the word loser und Deutschland apparently does not mean what it means in the English. Uh oh. Oh, you are going to have a bad surprise if you come to America and you say, Hi, my name is Oliver. Oliver Loser. I'm Big Loser. Nice to meet you. Yeah, he's going to have some issues if he comes to the U.S., maybe. He's not going to understand why people are laughing their asses off. Speaking of people in America that get laughed at, it's jack off all righty yep well you know the old saying um you know about spelling and phonetics and pronunciation and making sure you type things correctly because you know notice how it's in all caps there all caps all lowercase this is bad and i'll tell you why you need to have proper case in your spelling because proper case 
makes the difference between helping your Uncle Jack off a horse and helping your Uncle Jack off a horse. So, you know, it is important. You have to make sure you have proper capitalization and all that stuff because it's okay to help your Uncle Jack off a horse, but if you're helping your Uncle Jack off a horse, you've got some serious issues. So, you know. Not cool, not cool. And, you know, it is so not cool that, you know, it's almost as not cool as Dumbass and McPhail. Yep, Dumbass and McPhail. Dumbass is riding the fail whale today. All righty. Dumbass and McPhail, LLC. Awesome. So when you need legal services, go to the law offices of Dumbass and McPhail. Yeah, that's just, that's great. I definitely would want to be represented by Dumbass and McPhail, especially if I wanted to lose my case. All right. Yeah, that's just, wow. Okie dokie. Moving on. Yeah, here's another classic. All righty. Oh, and he's a judge, Willie Stroker. This is like so, I wouldn't even say this is politically incorrect. I'd say that... With the corruption in our system, this is politically appropriate. All of the the unconstitutional laws and, and bullshit and alignment with the corporations and blackmail and bribery and all that, I would definitely say that these judges got a lot of willy stroking going on and big egos to boot. So, yeah. I wouldn't say this is politically incorrect. I'd say this is politically appropriate. So you go, Willie. Show them what you're all about. Mm, here's an interesting one. BJ Cobbledick. Um, nom, 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 nom. Yep, when you're giving that BJ, make sure you're cobbling that dick. All right. Oh my God, Dave, you're so immature. You're acting like you're six years old. Nah, nah. No, I'm not. Six years old. Six year olds are usually not quite this corrupted yet. Now, of course, somebody in their freaking instrument, uh, their freaking infinite wisdom there, the chive.com plastering this so it's hard to actually read what's so funny about this picture. An ass. A fat ass, I think it says. An ass, a fat ass. A N A S S A F A D A S S. Thank you, thechive.com, for inconveniently putting that where it shouldn't be. So, thechive.com, you have failed trying to point out this fail. So, thechive.com, I'd like to say to you that you're not only an ass, you're a fat ass. Okay, moving on. Well, when you're dealing with public transportation, this is always a comforting thing to see. Your driver is an ass rammer. Gratuities appreciated. So yes, when your driver bends you over and fucks you hard and pounds the shit out of your rectum, please make sure you are courteous and give him a gratuity. Always tip your rapist that, you know, especially when your rapist is, is driving you in the form of public transportation. So, you know, he takes you from point A to point B, then bends you over and, <laughs> and takes you from point B to point C. Make sure you tip your rapist. This is just proper manners. When you've got an ass rammer, tip your rapist. Always don't forget the gratuity. It's it's polite. You gotta be polite. Well, this just goes to show you that um, when Jesus was a boy, he definitely advocated safe sex. We've got Jesus condom. So, you know... 
our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ says, use a condom when you're fornicating, otherwise you are spreading the evil demons of venereal disease and death and destruction. Yes, Jesus says, use a condom, my brothers and sisters, or forever will you burn in hell. Okay. Jesus condom. They could totally market that. Make like a brand of condoms. Or, you know, like have have the whole like the Buddy Christ thing with like, you know, Jesus with his thumb up. Okay, for those of you who are not familiar with the Buddy Christ picture, Buddy Christ actually comes from the movie Dogma. It's a Jay and Silent Bob film. It's really awesome. Watch it if you ever get the chance to. Um, it's not all that hard to find. Um, Buddy Christ. See? There's Buddy Christ. There we go. Jesus loves you, but I think you're a cunt. <laughs> Buddy Christ, Buddy Christ. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, you get the idea. Okay. That was funny. Watch Dogma. It's a good movie. Jay and Silent Bob are fucking awesome. And make sure that if you're a programmer, you use safe hex. Use Jesus condoms in your code parsing. Okay. Batman being Superman. Oh, yes. Batman being Superman. You see, we've always thought that Batman and Superman were two completely different characters, but the Republic of Singapore now sets the record straight because, yo, nigga, Batman been Superman. Shit. That motherfucker be fronting. He be a fucking poser, motherfucker. We're going to put a cap in that bat's ass. All right. Whatever. I know that was fucking cheesy. But this is fucking cheesy. This whole thing is cheesy. Cheesy is just like where it's at right now. Yes, and if we remember Mr. Faggot from earlier, we've got Gay Males, who is the, the broker for this real estate uh, venture here. Yeah, Gay Males. Alrighty. Well, you know, sailor, whenever you're going to sell your house, make sure you use gay males. You'll definitely get that sold much easier at a more lubricated, I mean, lucrative price. <laughs> yeah. And don't forget to watch Rosie O'Donnell. <clears throat> All right. Um, it looks like we've, we've come to the, the end of the post here. And this is, it's been freaking hilarious, in my opinion. If you don't think it's hilarious, then you have long since closed out this video and you're not watching it anymore because you were just like, oh my God, I can't take this anymore. I'm closing this out. Fuck this. So yeah, um, I hope uh, this has been amusing for everybody. And I'll catch y'all later. Peace out. Have a good day.